Hello all, myself Suresh Kumar, this is our 15th class. In this class also we will discuss about timer 0. Uh, it has some simple calculations for set the timer and configure the timer. Uh, we have uh, some uh, parameters, we have uh, some uh, uh, functions uh, and then we can use it that function and then we can totally control the timer 0. Uh, timer 0 is an 8 bit uh, uh, timer counter. It has an 8 bit uh, 8 bit timer. We will call it 8 bit ti uh, timer. Timer 0 is an 8 bit. Timer 1 is an 16 bit. Timer 2 is an 8 bit. Uh, this uh, timer 0, why we are using 256, 256, that's why uh, uh, 0 to 256. This the, That's why we are saying uh, 8 bit. Uh, here it is. Uh, I had a calculation right now. I am making a paint uh, for you. Uh, uh, I think it. Uh, you can uh, better understand in this uh, in this case i didn't do anything the same code previous class code uh, here it is the uh, 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 pre processed directive parts uh, header files and the uh, clocks we need and uh, fuses uh, just leave it uh, and this is the timer zero isr part interrupt service subroutine part and this is our main function uh, you can see it this is our main function in this uh, we have a three uh, three lines of code uh, one is configure the timer this is the uh, we can set it uh, what kind of speed what do you want what kind of speed we want uh, the come uh, the overflow time um, how much time should take time to overflow uh, the timer how should uh, the timer will be overflow within some seconds uh, we can uh, set that overflow speed uh, uh, we can set that from uh, um, 100 millisecond or 1 millisecond or 1 second for 5 seconds uh, we can set that overflow time we can uh, predefinedly set that times this is the configuration of the timer uh, this line is the configuration of timer this is called rtcc divided by 16 this is the free scalar and this is the internal clock timer 0 has an, has an internal clock uh, specifically uh, the processors have a internally uh, clock that is for uh, 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 making some um, multitasking for for the transfer so uh, timers and uh, uh, adc conversion these uh, uh, architecture these kind of hardware inside our processor so it need a specific class not uh, so, so I am setting class. Uh, we need a specific internal clock, so we can use it that uh, clock for timers and ADC counters, so ADC conversion, uh, ADC generation for this purpose. So it has then in processor we have an internal clock also. So uh, but we can't use that clock for uh, total for, uh, for functioning and total purpose. Uh, we can use only for timers and ADC conversion these kind of things. So that is I am using uh, RTCC internal clock. This is uh, running parallelly. This is different from our uh, uh, this clock, external clock. Okay. Uh, this is not an external oscillator. This is an internal uh, internal clock. This is only for uh, timers and uh, counters, interrupts, and uh, uh, it has some specific uh, de uh, devices inside our processors. So. Uh, that's it. Uh, I'm enabling internally enabling that clock. So it will be uh, if I using this word, uh, the internal clock will be enabled. Uh, start running. Okay. Then this line is uh, enable the specific interrupt. I'm using timer zero. So I'm using RTCC. You can use RTCC or TMR zero, timer zero. You can uh, use this uh, keywords. Uh, RTCC means uh, real time clock counter. Um, uh, just bother about it. You can uh, go through this uh, uh, help page. Uh, uh, you can uh, get that knowledge for RTCC. This is just an uh, RTCC. I can, if I using this word, uh, then this subroutine bar will be calling when the interrupt is occur. Uh, timer zero is an overflow interrupt. It is called overflow interrupt. Uh, this is uh, overflow. overflow interrupts uh, uh, this is uh, when this timer is overflow that time only uh, calling this part uh, once executed 
when the timer is overflow that time only uh, this part is executed so uh, i am calling this uh, interrupt rtcc enabling the specific interrupt and then i declared the global interrupt this is like a main switch uh, like an mcp in your home uh, in the switch is uh, must be on for uh, this uh, sub specific switch need to and that time only uh, these interrupts are working uh, and then uh, this is the repeated uh, loop super loop uh, for loop forever uh, i am just uh, toggling pin d0 for every uh, 3 seconds 3000 milliseconds d0 means this is the d0 pin this is connected with d1 and my d1 uh, pin is connected with d2 uh, led this is our uh, 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 um, uh, subroutine LED, interrupt subroutine LED, and this is the main loop LED. Uh, this is just polling, and this is overflow interrupt uh, indicating. Okay, uh, I had uh, some simple. Uh, uh, I had uh, some. I uh, cache some. Uh, this. These all are the parameters. This only. Is, uh, this is called prescalar, and this is called uh, uh, initialize. We can initialize from zero to uh, two fifty six. Uh, and then this is also our parameter okay now uh, this is also our parameter four things we have parameters this is prescalar this is a prescalar and Our clock, our clock, and this lies the, this lies the uh, uh, timer. starting from from okay uh, this is our uh, 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 starting from uh, i am giving 150 so the timer will be starting every 150 to 255 150 to 255 okay uh, here it is the uh, 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 method of the timer uh, we can use it mm, just go through it uh, this is pick mcu need four clock pulse for this uh, i am uh, just giving that uh, formula for you four divided by your your clock into ere c a a r rescaler into Two fifty six minus mm, one fifty. Which means B. B. This is A. A. This is F X T. Four divided by sixteen hertz into two fifty six into two fifty six minus one two. See, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, uh, you can calculate this function, these uh, parameters. Like I am calculating and I am showing calculator. Uh, here it is that. Um, 
4 divided by 16 into 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. I into 256. That is uh, into uh, 256 minus 150. Got it. Around 6. 7, 8, 4, like milliseconds. Uh, here it is. I will show it. When see it, uh, my uh, uh, simulator doesn't work because the cam studio affecting my uh, processor speed. You can see it. You can see it. You got it. Store is it's working good. It's working properly. I can generate uh, for uh, the timer will be. Uh, I can set. I can configure it. The timer will be overflow every uh, six milliseconds. Uh, so the calculation set is good. The calculation working good. So you can go through it. You can study it. Once this is the timer uh, ISR part. This is the main part. Internally clock is run, uh, time of zero clock is running, uh, main part is also executed. Uh, internal clock running zero to counting zero to two fifty five. I can set that value from uh, one fifty. Uh, I already said it one fifty. Uh, this is one fifty. Uh, so the timer uh, counter is started from here to here. Then uh, when the timer is overflow, the, that time only the uh, this uh, ISR part is executed. Once this is executed, then come back again and uh, uh, doing this main thing, uh, main function, uh, main program, main task, and also uh, running this uh, internal timer clock. Uh, this is also counting from here to there, overflow, flow set timer. Here it is. Uh, from you can set it uh, here to here. So this is the calculation. Uh, you can use it. Uh, just uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you uh, uh, you can't understand, please uh, mail me. M S U R D S H K U M A R two six seven zero at G M A I L dot C O N. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, you can go through it. These all are the uh, uh, I explain it. Here is the here is it is here it is our uh, our clock one is a parameter, and uh, this is also our parameter. Uh, this is also our parameter. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe my channel. Uh, next we will move to timer uh, 1 uh, this is timer 0 8 bit and timer uh, 1 is a 16 bit so we will move to timer 1 ok uh, thank you for watching uh, please subscribe my channel thank you